welcome to another episode of Smash JT. If I were to ask you right off the bat, who do you think Netflix's biggest competition was in all of 2018, what would you say? Hulu? HBO Go? YouTube? Disney? Any of these other streaming services? Nope, it's none of those. According to Netflix's quarterly report, it's a video game. Smash JT. Yep. Fortnite is now not only taking over the entire video game industry, but it's seeping into the entertainment industry at large. The video streaming services are now concerned about Fortnite because it's taking screen time away from people watching their service. Everybody playing Fortnite is spending all their time playing that instead of watching other forms of entertainment. And this is something that's extremely concerning to a company like Netflix because if they can't get eyeballs on their service, it's not justifying people continuing paying for it and ultimately they are going to lose money in the long run. So yes, admitted by Netflix in their quarterly earnings, Fortnite is their biggest concern for competition. We compete with and lose to Fortnite more than HBO. This is insane. If they are losing to Fortnite more than HBO, that tells you how big of a deal Fortnite is right now. By the end of 2018, Netflix said they had nearly 139 million paying memberships worldwide. And November of 2018, Epic reported that its Battle Royale game commanded 200 million registered users. So this is a direct competition between the two. We are weighing apples versus apples as far as how many people are using these services. And because of that, it doesn't matter what the medium of entertainment is. It's using their screen time, taking the eyeballs away from the other one. And it's not just Fortnite, but that's their biggest concern right now. Another thing they spoke about was, if you remember when YouTube went down for a few minutes in October, it went down for a few minutes, right? Netflix said that during that time, not only viewership spiked, but signups for Netflix spiked. Because YouTube was down for a few minutes. Think about that. That is mind-blowing, like completely perplexing. People would just jump ship that quick from YouTube when it's down a few minutes to sign up for a monthly service. That's gonna be concerning to YouTube, first off, if they ever go offline for a considerable amount of time. They are easily replaced. And also during their quarterly report, they teased a new interactive event similar to what I talked about with the Black Mirror series and Bandersnatch, which by the way, I will link it above me. Check that out if you're not familiar with it. I had a blast playing that. So much so that I kind of want to go back to it because I didn't get all the information my first two times through it. It's a lot of fun if you like choose your own adventure style books. It's kind of like that. As far as what Netflix said for the future, they said they are concerned about Epic, the company that owns Fortnite. Not only did Epic recently open up their own game store to compete directly with Steam on PCs, but it's something that Netflix is keeping an eye on in case Epic decides to jump into the entertainment area. Epic is huge, and I've said it a million times, but be on the lookout because Epic might just take over the world. It is one of the biggest game companies ever. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today, but interested to hear what you have to say about Fortnite being the biggest competition for Netflix in 2018. It makes you wonder what the future holds for the whole entertainment space in general. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, you stay smashing. Smash.